for Capital Connection tonight, Governor Glenn Youngkin defending his decision to amend a bill that would have established a person's right to contraception in the Commonwealth. Youngkin saying while he supports access to contraception, this bill went too far. Capitol Bureau reporter Tyler Englander joining us now live in studio. And Tyler, what did Youngkin do? Well, Eric Deanna, good evening. Youngkin really just threw the bill out, that bill that was passed by the General Assembly, and substituted it with a policy statement that Democrats say has no legal protections behind it. Tonight, Governor Glenn Youngkin rewriting bills that would have established Virginians' right to contraception, including condoms, IUDs, and birth control. And as a policy statement, it's completely toothless. It doesn't address uh, the issues that we were uh, uh, fighting for in the Right to Contraception Act. And frankly, it's not even worth the paper it's written on. Youngkin's new proposal says, quote, that it shall be the public policy of the Commonwealth that individuals possess the right to access contraception. I'm a strong supporter of access to contraception. Uh, I've consistently uh, held that position. The problem, according to Democrats, is that unlike the version that passed the General Assembly, Youngkin's bill doesn't enshrine a person's right to contraception into law, nor does it include a way for the law to be enforced. We need to have laws in place that are going to afford effective uh, uh, protections for all individuals around critical private issues uh, for reproduction. Youngkin telling us he removed that provision because he believed it could require doctors to prescribe contraception, something the bill's author, State Senator Ghazala Hashmi, says is simply not true. There's, there's just a big question about enforcement when in fact a physician may make a decision that is so fundamentally based on the health of a patient and therefore wanting to prescribe something different or do something different um, that needs to be in the physician's judgment. And now Eric Deanna Hashmi tells me that her bill does not affect individual physicians or health care providers. I reached out to Governor Youngkin's office to try and get clarification but didn't hear back. Live in the studio tonight, Tyler Englander, 8 News.